let us now look at a adhikara sutram adhikara sutram 3192 tatropa padam saptamistham tatropa padam saptamistham this is a very important adhikara sutram uh, what is the adhikara adhikara sets the topic for the rules which are to follow the adhikara has a certain region over which it exerts its influence so we already know that the adhikara of dhatoh which starts from 3191 dhatoh this adhikara exerts its influence up to the end of chapter 3 within that dhato adhikara the second adhikara of tatrapapadam saptami stham is being started this also goes to the end of end of chapter 3 tatrapapadam saptami stham now why do we need this um, to take the sutram right now because of fact that the next few rules which we are going to study uh starting with um this one here which is the um uh, atashchopasarge 31136 this atashchopasarge which is over here 31136 atashchopasarge and also rules such as uh, karmanyan which are going to see later on atonopasarge kaha in all these rules in the in the in the sutram there is a term in saptami like for example karmanyan this there is a karmani karmani is is ending in saptami it is a seventh case locative case of karman same thing here upasarge anupasarge in this case anupasarge in 3 2 and here we have um atashchopasarge again upasarge so how to interpret this saptami this is a technical saptami which carries a special connotation in this dhato adhikara so this adhikara tatrapapadam saptam istham is contained within the adhikara of dhato who starts from 3191 so of course this adhikara has nothing to do with the rule which came before it it only starts from 3192 it doesn't go backwards of course so we we of course we know we know that there is a adhikara of 3122 dhato ho but this uh, adhikara of tatrapapadam saptamistham doesn't go back there this uh, adhikara of tatrapapadam saptamistham only starts from only starts from uh, 3192 onwards so it goes from 3192 to the end of chapter 3 okay what does this adhikara say what is it is saying it is saying is that सप्तम्यंते पदे कर्मणी इत्यादौ वाच्यत्वेन स्थितम् यत् कुंभादि तद्वाचकम् पदम् उपपदसंयम स्यात् एंड देन तस्मिन्नेव तस्मिन् सत्येव वक्षमाणाः प्रत्ययाः स्युः सो दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस लेट अस टेक दिस नाउ वन बाय वन एंड सी व्हाई दिस वृत्ति इज a little bit complicated what is the need to make the vritti so long and complicated okay now let us it is it is saying that uh, it is it is assigning a sanya of upapadam upapada sanya upapada sanya the sanya is being sanya is um, i'm sorry I should put this over here upapada sanyam syat okay sanya is a name a designation a technical name now that sanya is being being assigned to what okay it's being assigned to uh, saptamyante pade vachatvena sitam yat kumbhadi tat vachakam padam okay let's take an ex is taking an example karmani ityadav what is this karmani ityadav this karmani ityadav is referring to the famous sutram 3 to 1 which we are going to be studying shortly 3 to 1 karma nyan is a very famous which is used a lot that sutram is used to forms uh, to 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 derive forms such as kumbhakara sutrakara bhashyakara and all these kind of form not only dhatu kru with other dhatus also purushada and so on so that is a famous sutram karma nyan so this vritti is taking an example of that sutram karma nyan so is the padachyada sutram is karmani and karmani and so 
this karmani in the sutram 321 as an example is saptam yantam padam saptam yantam padam so this vritti of 3192 is telling us saptam yante pade in a padam which ends in saptami for example for example the term karmani in the sutram 321 karmanyan vachatvena sthitam see saptam is tham this tham means situated in like means hridaya stham means situated in the heart you know and so on that that entire that 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 is also upapada samasa this saptam is tham is itself a upapada samasa it means situated in the saptami situated in the saptami um atmastham situated in the self antastham bahistham so the all when you add st at the end we will we will we'll study a sutram later on the sutram supistaha which is used to form this kind of compounds but we don't need to go in those details right now right now um, this this term saptamistham in the sutram means that which is situated in the saptami gets the sanya upapadam what do we what do we mean by situated in the saptami so we take an example let's take this example of karmani in the sutram 321 karmanyan okay now what is in the saptami saptami in the in the, in the saptam yantam padam karmani is of course karman pratipadikam is there we take karman and add the pratyagni to get karmani uh, it is saptam yek vachanam so karmani so so karman now karman means it is the object of the action object of the action so inside the saptami we have karma which means the object of the action so when you say kumbham karoti ti kumbhakarah the pot maker one who makes the pot is called a pot maker so the object of the action is obviously the pot the physical pot that is the object of the action object of the action is the pot so vachatvena sitam kum yat kumbhadi kumbhadi means as an example in the in the saptam yantam karmani there is the term the the pratyabhikam karman which stands for which stand this is vachatvena sitam which stands for the object of the action and which in which can be a pot etc but this is vyakarana shastram this is shabdana shastram this is a science of words this is not a science of physical objects so we cannot give the upapada sanya or any sanya as a matter of fact in this shastram to a physical object we only give a designation or a sanya to words letters words you know um so this is a science of words this is not a science of you know pot making or physical objects like that so we don't stop here we we don't stop at yat kumbhadi we say tad vachakam padam a a word which stands for the pot the word kumbh not the physical pot but the word kumbh the term kumbh which stands for the pot that gets the upapada sanya okay so one more time one more time saptam yante pade okay there has to be a saptam yantam padam in a sutram okay that's the starting point that is that is a starting point for assigning the upapada sanya to something okay then karmani ityadau for example the term karmani in 2 in in 3 2 1 321 karmanya vachatvena sitam yat kumbhadi okay inside the saptami what is the saptami is what is the saptami expressing is expressing the object of the action like a pot etc for example a pot etc okay so now we are down to the pot but the pot cannot get the physical pot cannot get the upapada sanya because it is shabda shastram so then we continue and say tad vachakam padam the term kumbha the word the term kumbha which stands for the part that gets the upapada sanya so so simply speaking we look at the sutram we see if there is a term in the saptami now the 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 object which is indicated by that saptami the term 
the the physical thing in physical thing indicated by that saptami a word which stands for that physical thing that gets the uh, upapada sanya so that is what we have so far and then there is a one um, so far we have not used the word tatra what is tatra meaning tatra now maybe tatra can mean does it just mean simply that in this dhatu adhikara asmin sannihite dhatu adhikare is the tatra used in the in the sutram to clarify the point that this tatra upapadam saptami istham only starts from this dhatu adhikara that is not necessary to put tatra for that because obviously we are in this adhikara of dhatu starting from 3191 so even even without the use of tatra we could have easily understood that this adhikara of 3192 only is applicable to this dhatu adhikara which starts from 3191 within the dhatu adhikara we have this adhikara of uh, upapadam saptami istham so this word tatra this term tatra in this sutram was not necessary just to convey the meaning that this adhikara only applies within this adhikara of dhatu that we can get from the anuvritti only we can get that then what is the use of the of the term tatra in this sutram that interpreted by the grammarians as tasmin satyeva vakshamanaha pratyaha syuho vakshamanaha pratyaha the affixes which are going to be enumerated which are going to be prescribed from now on now on means from 3192 onwards those affixes become applicable only on the condition that that upapadam that upapadam is present tasmin satyeva means tasmin upapade tasmin equals upapade sati eva sati eva means only when the upapadam is present then only those affixes which are going to be prescribed now starting from here on in the ashtadhyayi become applicable so those affixes may be used so the affixes may be used only only the upapadam is present otherwise they cannot be used for example the same sutram again karmanyan 321 if we go there that prescribes an affix an but that affix an because of the presence of karmani in, in the saptami in the sutram now has a condition that the affix an may be used following a verbal rule because we in the dhatu adhikara but only if we have a upapadam in the as a term which is talking about the object of the action only if with a karmani upapade satyeva only if we have upapadam as a you know karma vachaka shabda then only we can use an so basically that tatra in the sutram 31 in this sutram 3192 is uh, making sure that these affixes such as an which are prescribed by a sutram which contains a uh, saptamyantam padam indicating a upapadam these affixes like an may only be used if that upapadam is there without the upapadam we cannot use that an for example kumbham karoti ti kumbhakaraha but we cannot say just simply karoti ti karaha स करोति इति वक्तुम् न शक्यते वी कैन नॉट से करोति इति कारः वी हैव टू से कुंभम करोति इति कुंभकारः भाष्यम करोति इति भाष्यकारः पुरुषानत्ति इति पुरुषादः सो दैट उपपदम हैज टू बी देयर देन ओनली वी कैन यूज इट एंड एटसेट्रा सो दैट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द टर्म तत्र तत्र मींस तस्मिन सति एव तस्मिन उपपदे सति एव वक्षमाणाः pratyaha syuho so the meaning in english is as follows the designation upapadam this this entire this adhikaraha it it presents itself in the ashtadhyayi from 3192 to end of chapter 3 and it assigns the upapada sanya so the designation upapadam is applied to a term which, which denotes a thing because we cannot in this shastram shabda shastram we don't assign we don't assign names to physical objects we assign names to words or terms collection of letters not physical objects so which a term which denotes a thing like a pot etc 
which is present means the saptam is tham. As the thing to be expressed in a word ending in the locative case in the sutram. So in the sutram there is a locative case. That locative case refers to a um, physical thing. Uh, in this case, the object of the action, like a part, etc., and the word which stands for the part that gets the upapada sanya in this particular case. Um, and then the affixes which are prescribed from this sutram onwards uh, only apply in the presence of the upapadam when applicable. So that is the meaning of tatra. Tatra stands for that. So that is the basic meaning of this sutram, Tatra Papadam Saptamistham. Now we have to note a couple of things over here. The first thing we have to note here is that not every sutram from 3192 to end of chapter 3 has a Saptamiyantam Padam. Of course, this doesn't, this sutram doesn't, this Adhikara doesn't mean that every single sutram from 3192 to end of chapter 3 has a, has a saptamyantam padam only when applicable when applicable so this is important only when applicable for example here uh, we we have already looked at the sutram um nandi grahi pachadibhyo lyuninya chaha or nul truchau this is a good example this is a good example nul truchau there is no saptamyantam padam this is prathama Vivachanam. Pratama Vivachanam. There is no Saptam Yantam Padam. So it doesn't mean that every single sutram from 3192 has to have a Saptam Yantam Padam. Only when applicable. Okay. That's number one. So second and the second thing is that even if there is a Saptam Yantam Padam, it does not mean that every Saptam Yantam Padam is going to give us a Upapadasanya. Sometimes Panini may use Saptam Yantam Padam just to indicate a regular meaning of Saptami. You know, what we call as the Artha Nirdesha, Artha Nirdesha Artham. Artha Nirdesha. Artha Nirdesha means just to give in that sense, in that meaning. For example, you take a sutram such as, uh, which we are going to be studying shortly now, the sutram which is over here, Gehe Kaha. So this affix Ka we used in the sense of, in the sense of Gehe when it refers to when the meaning meaning is that the agent is a home or a house house so this gehe is not giving us a upapada sanya even though it is saptami antam padam even though it is in the adhikara of 3192 tatra papadam saptami stham it doesn't mean that every saptami antam padam is this technical saptami by 3192 we have to look at the context of the sutram See if it fits the fits the fits fits the meaning of the sutram, and then make a determination, and not blindly assign a pupada sanya just because we have a saptam yantam padam in a sutram starting from three one ninety two. So this now another example could be, um, you know, we can take the, our our sutram which is vartamane lat. The vartamane lat also comes the same adhikara it comes in vartamane lat. Clearly vartamane is not a Upapadam doesn't mean that when Vartamana is there present by close by. It doesn't mean. So the affix lat may be used in the present tense, in the meaning of present. So this is in the meaning of. So that so that is also an interpretation of Saptami, which, which is a regular interpretation of Saptami. It is a non-technical Saptami, so to speak, which is which is still applicable, which is still uh, going to be used by Panini in this Adhikara. So not, not every Saptami Antam gives us the upapada sanya. Now, a couple of more quick examples. We can take example like this one, for example. Um, here, we can take, uh, how about striyam ktin. Striyam ktin, which you're going to study also. This striyam ktin, this striyam, of course, saptamiyantam, of stri pradvadikam. It doesn't mean if we have a woman close by. <laughs> it, it doesn't mean that. It means in the feminine gender, that's all it means. It, this, this does not mean if we have a word indicating a a stree which is close by, you know, we don't have, to, we don't have so that is, that is not the, the meaning of this triyam ten. It just simply means that it is in the feminine gender, in the meaning in the feminine gender. That's all it means. So we cannot take this and blindly assign a and expect a word denoting a woman to be 
to be used and only tin can be used nothing like that another example you can also take for example here there is napunsake bhave taha bhave this is also regular sabtu meaning in the sense of bhave in the meaning of bhava so there are many many um uh, rules in which Panini uses a Saptami Yantam Padam, but that is not the technical Saptami, that is not the Saptami which gives us the Upabhada Sanya. So, what this, this Sutram 3192 is simply saying is that we may have, we may have a Saptami which, which indicates a Upapadam, gives the Upabhada Sanya to something. Doesn't mean that every Sutram, every sutram has a Saptami Yantam. Doesn't also mean that every sutram which has saptami and the padam that may or may not mean this technical saptami. So we have to understand from the context, from the overall meaning of the sutram, whether it fits that or not. Okay, that's that's one important thing. Um, and then I have just put here the uh, couple of notes which we already talked about. This is the Adhikara Sutram, which runs up to the end of the chapter three of Ashtadhyay. And the term upapadam itself is derived as follows. Upa equals samipe ucharitam padam upapadam. So it is a term which is pronounced or close, which is used in conjunction. Close by. Close by means it is, it is used in conjunction. So the affixes which are prescribed by those, those respective rules, they will only apply of course, after dhatu, dhatu, but on the condition that these terms, which are the upapada sanya, are used close by in conjunction with this upapadam, only those affixes become applicable. So that is the meaning of the, this. This sutra will become clear as we apply it in the various situations that we are going to see. This is only adhikara sutra, and we need this adhikara sutra right now because we are going to be studying rules starting with this atash chopasarge. 31136 in that we have a, we have the term upasarge how to interpret that term upasarge up, the term upasarge so th at that time we will so we will be, we will be using this, this this adhikara of course adhikara means it presents itself in the entire domain of its influence it's, it's, so it is so it, it 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 will be applicable in many many situations and as we take more examples it will become clear how this how this upapada sanya operates and why it is so important to understand because depending on that only we can use those affixes which are going to be prescribed.